friends while working in piping engineering very often we come across the word ansi that is american national standard institute so let us learn today about ansi before we proceed let us see what is sdo sdos are standard developing organization these are public or private entities responsible for creating american national standards they focus on developing publishing or disseminating technical standard using a consensus based standard development process consensus based process is a process through which nsi accredits a particular standard it has certain guideline which emphasizes on fairness openness by taking into account the views of all involved parties stakeholders affected by the particular standards all the sto have to follow this consensus based process to get accreditation from ansi some of the examples of sdos are astm international underwriter laboratories nfp internationals asme internationals this was in brief about sdos now let us see what is the role of nsi in context of sdos nsi monitors the standardization process and accredits the standard developing organization nsi keeps a watch on the sdos that whether the sdos are following the guidelines the process set by nsi or not during the development of standards also it gives accreditation to sdos when it comes to define ansi we can say the american national standard institute is a private not for profit organization dedicated to supporting the us voluntary standard and conformity assessment system and strengthening its impact both domestically and internationally now let us see some important point about nsi and how it works in 1918 American Institute of Electrical Engineering now it is IEE actually Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer so in 1918 American Institute of Electrical Engineering invited ASME American Society of Mechanical Engineers American Society of Civil Engineers American Institute of Mining and Metallurgy and American Society of Testing and Material that is ASTM along with department of war navy and commerce to join them as a founder of ansi so this five organization along with department of war navy and commerce founded ansi initially it was named as american engineering standard committee that is aesc so as i said nsi was founded in 19th of october 1918 NSI is headquartered in Washington DC and it operates from New York City office. As I said uh, its uh, initial name was American Engineering Standard Committee AESC the first name and then after going lot of name changes the current name NSI was adopted in 1969. NSI facilitates the development of American national standards by accrediting the procedure of a standards developing organization nsi doesn't itself write a standard this is very important to note that nsi itself doesn't write any standard as of january 2020 more than 240 standard developers are accredited by nsi and there are more than 11500 american national standards NSI is the only accreditor of voluntary STOs in the United States. There is no other organization which give accreditation to these standard developing organizations. NSI's accreditation of standard development organizations assures that each one maintains level of openness, balance, consensus and due process. This is just to ensure the transparency during the development of standard STOs are required to consistently adhere to a set of requirements set by NSI which is called NSI essential requirement 
that governs the consensus development process. The open and fair process ensures that all the interested parties and affected parties have an opportunity to participate in a standards development. This is just to ensure the transparency during the development of standards. NSI uses the term open and openness to describe that the standard documents have undergone through the required process which are transparent and consensus based. NSI's essential requirements are based on principles which are internationally accepted by some of the big organizations like ISO, IEC, ITU. NSI is the only US representative to the two major standard organizations ISO and IEC via US National Committee. NSI is also the founding member of ISO that is International Organization for Standardization. US has immediate access to ISO and IEC standard development processes through ANSI. ANSI promotes the use of US standards internationally. It advocates US policy and technical position in international and regional standards. NSI is highly involved in the US government affairs and it acts as a bridge between the standard developers and government agencies that are making policies which directly affects their efforts. NSA is not a government body, it is a not-for-profit organization, so it cannot help the consumer complain with a product or service even though that product or service complies with American national standard. NSA standards not only protect and promote business but they also ensures public safety and supports economy. Now let us see what is conformity assessment. When there is a standard available for a product or service, whether this product or service is as per standard or not is checked through conformity assessment. So conformity assessment is a process in which a product, process, system, service or personal fulfills the requirement of a specific standard. It proves that a product meets a standard for safe and effective use if conformity assessment of that product is done and completed. It keeps consumers, buyers, sellers, regulators and producers confidence in a product that if a particular product is complying to a particular standard and if the conformity assessment is done then this product is safe for use. Conformity assessment is completed through certain steps which are sampling, testing, inspection, certification, management system assessment and finally registration. NSI offers accreditation to organizations that perform conformity assessment. So there are certain organizations in the United States which perform this conformity assessment and NSI accredits those organizations. ISO and IEC have series of standards that act as a guide for conformity assessment. NSI's program for accrediting third-party product certification has experienced a lot of growth in recent times and NSI continues its effort to obtain worldwide acceptance of accredited certification that are performed in United States. In summary, NSI continues to be fully involved in its support of the goals of United States and global standardization and it remains committed to enhancing of the quality of life of global citizens. So this was in brief about what is NSI, how it was founded, how it works and what is conformity assessment. Thanks for watching.